uh, practice out there in the in the cool fall weather? I mean, it's it's nice. This is my favorite type of weather, like mid sixties, low seventies, like right around there. It's my favorite favorite time of the year, so I like this. Very good. Now you've been having a terrific uh, punting year. Uh, when I last looked at your average, it was forty eight point nine, just under fifty yards uh, uh, a kick. Uh, uh, how, how do you feel your punting has progressed this year? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I've just got a lot more consistent overall. Um, be able to like, go out there and consistently put the ball where it needs to be put, where last year is like, I feel like I could do it most of the time, but not near as consistent as I am now. Now, this past week you went out, and I think you had five kicks. Uh, is it different for you? Uh, do you prefer a game like that where you you get in the game and uh, – and, uh, you know, you're really helping the team with uh, getting the ball that field with a uh, field position. I mean, obviously, I, I like I like to be in the game and everything, but it's also a good thing when we don't send me out on the field. I usually the game's going pretty well if I don't have to go out there. So, you know, I guess I guess it's kind of like a double edged sword. Very good. Uh, Coach Munkin was saying that you did a lot of good work uh, this uh, this summer on uh, preparation, building your leg strength. Uh, What's involved with it? Is it a combination of weightlifting and stretching to get the maximum uh, leg strength for punting? Yeah, I mean, weightlifting definitely plays a part to get into to build your leg strength, but also stretching is a big thing too. Just like be able to get the full extension because if you're tight and not very flexible, then like, you won't be able to kick the like your the leg won't go up as high. It just won't be as good overall. Very good. Now tell us about the. Uh, the uh, academic and military side of your life at uh, at West Point. Yeah, I mean, it's going pretty well right now. I mean, being my senior first year, I don't have that many classes right now. So academically, there's like, it's pretty light overall. And then military, we don't really do really much military um, within the football season of the academic year. So not really much going on there. Okay. Uh, Tell us a little bit now. Remind me where you're from and why you decided to go to West Point. Yeah, so I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. And really, I, I didn't know much about West Point before I got an offer here. And then like, I started talking with like my parents and my high school coach and everything like that. And really, my high school coach, because I had my high school coach and the assistant coach, both were kind of like hammering into me like that this was pretty much an opportunity I, I couldn't pass up. Um, and really, like, after learning more about West Point, coming up here for an, a visit, uh, just, like, seeing the place, learning what it's about, like, I kind of came to the conclusion myself that it is something I couldn't, like, an opportunity I couldn't pass up. Hey, what's your academic major, and is there a part of the Army that you'd like to branch to? Yeah, so my major is computer science, so I'm trying to get cyber. So. That's a very important part. I've, I've had a chance to sit in on some of the cyber exercises against the NSA. That's a terrific part of the Army. Sal, you want to go ahead? Hey, Zach, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, you probably talked about the, the punt, uh, you know, numerous times this week. Um, can you walk us through how that really uh, developed and how it felt and just the feeling when you can uh, – kick a ball that far and then have it go out of bounds that, you know, at the three yard line, it seemed like it was um, a perfect punt in, in, in my eyes. Yeah. So, I mean, really it all starts with a snap. Cause like, I guess a lot of people that like, if you haven't like part, like if you're not a part of special teams, you don't really know how big of a difference that like, a really good snap makes. And Ryan Aguilar sent like it back a really good snap. So, I mean, that, that just puts you like in a really good mind space as it is. And then with the blocking and everything, like I don't, I, I haven't had to worry about them getting through. So I'm like, like more relaxed right there. So that all that just kind of like, kind of felt like practice out there again, just going through. And I mean, when you hit a ball like that, it, it, you really don't feel it come off really. Like it, you don't really feel it hit your foot. And then I don't know, seeing like seeing it bounce out, like that was kind of just like the the cherry on top. There was a lot of celebration on the sidelines after that yeah. punt, right? Did you did you make it out of there on skates, so to speak? Uh, pr pretty much, mostly. But yeah, I know, like the first guy over there, one of the managers, my roommate, he he'll always rough me up on the sidelines. So, can you talk about the importance of special teams play for you guys in this start four no start? You've been pretty solid in the kicking game and also you know pump blocking 
also. Yeah, I mean, special teams have played a big part in all of our games so far. I mean, Cole Talley going out there, hitting some field goals, um, kickoff being good, kickoff return. Um, pretty much all, I mean, our punt block has been amazing. Um, pretty much all phases of special teams have like made a difference in every game that we've played so far. Zach, in, in, in preparing for a game such as Ball State on Saturday, is there an element of uh, looking at film from the other team uh, in uh, in preparation? Yeah, I mean, we always look at like what they what their tendencies are for. I guess for me, like when our when we when the punters go out to the film room, like we look at their punt block mainly, and then the kickers and everything. We'll look at their field goal block and like we look to see like what their tendencies are, like when they do what, like where on the field and everything like that just so we have a better understanding of like what kind of what to expect going into the game. So we aren't surprised by anything. Okay. Anything in uh, that you've seen uh, in ball state on their special teams that stands out? I mean, nothing in particular. I mean, they like, you can tell like they put a big emphasis on special teams. They have a lot of starters out there in special teams, like all around they're like they're well coached, like a really good special teams unit. So, um, but at the end of the day, like, it's just, it's the same thing for all of us. Like, it, the more we think about it, the the worse we're going to do. It's just more of like in case they throw something weird at us, like, like if they have like fakes, which I don't remember seeing many fakes by them, but like just stuff like that to like where we're prepared if anything is like weird is thrown at us. Is there a punt that really stands out in your career that uh, uh, you really handled uh, well as, you know, an adverse situation, maybe uh, from your end zone uh, that, uh, that you really felt good about uh, about being able to get the punt off. Um, I'm trying to think of a punt that was close. I mean, there was the punt in Navy, I guess, last year that was out of the end zone that that hit out of bounds. That was probably that's probably like my favorite punt, just because I mean it's the Army Navy game, um, punting out of the back of the end zone. Uh, that was that was exciting, but I think I think I think if I had to choose one, it'd be that one. <laughs> 